behemoths, titans, legends. This is Pokemon VGC 2016. Hello everyone and welcome to Sharp Dress Gaming and today we are back with some more Pokemon VGC 2016. We are back with the Giratina alternate form team, also featuring Mega Mawile, Breloom, Primal Groudon, Lipard, and Crobat. Now last time Lipard really brought it through for us. Uh, Giratina was able to pick up the win because of Lipard, but I want Giratina to kind of fend for himself. Well, excuse me, my nose itches. Um, Giratina, I want Giratina to kind of fend for himself this match. I also would like to see Crowdon do a little bit more, but we'll see. I'm going to hit that challenge button. This is our final episode with this team. I'll be bringing a new team next week, and uh, we'll see what it ends up being. I have a few ideas, but we'll see if I have time to put them into effect. We have Nikita from France. Oh, thanks. Thanks, John Peter. You guys can see that popping up. Get out of the way, please. All right, so we have... A Mega Kanga, a Lando Scrando, a Rodin, a Cresselia, Kyogre, so double primal team, and a Jetic Slash. Slash. So I don't. Oh wait, I don't. I don't have a Xerneas. I've been using a team of Xerneas on it, so I'm like Xerneas. But no, no Xerneas for us. So Giratina is looking nice, You're looking real nice. Breloom isn't looking terrible. Actually, Breloom's looking really good. Breloom's looking very, very good. Very good, very good. Oh, uh, we can also go with Crobat. Hmm, or Lipard. Actually, I prefer Lipard here. Then Giratina and Groudon. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let's do that. Now let's see if we would rather have Crobat this match. Uh, hopefully that is not to kiss. Let's see. So I leave Braylon my part. A little classic lead from 2015. And he brings Kangaskhan and Landorus. Kangalando. That old Kangalando. What I can do here... What can I do here? A Spore the Landorus... And fake out the Kangaskhan. Kangaskhan is going to Mega Evolve here, of course. That is his only possible Mega, and... There are a few people who use normal Kangaskhan just to be that kind of person, but... Not today. So Lyapard gets the fake out first, bop. Fake out on the Kangaskhan. And Landris is actually going to U-turn off the Breloom. Uh, we'll bring us down to about 50. Well, whatever's coming in is getting um, spored. So I don't mind that. It's going to be Cresselia, though. I would rather it not have been Cresselia. I would have rather that, but... But we'll have to do that. So I'm going to save my Breloom in case he did bring Kyogre, because I think he's going to. I'm actually going to bring Giratina where Breloom is. <clears throat> and I'm going to taunt the Cresselia. See if I can burn that Mental Herb so I can taunt it later if I need to. In comes the Giratina. <clears throat> Get some pressure going. Taunt. Let's see if it's Mental Herb Crest. It is not. He's going for the double edge, but Giratina is there now, so you can't hurt me. You can't hurt me. Bop, 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 bop. I set up the substitute with Giratina. And I'm going to foul play the Kangaskhan. So Kangaskhan's going to take some nice damage from this foul play. Oh, 50. And then he's going to go for double edge onto Lipard, which is fine. He's going to knock me out one hit. But that's honestly fine. Kangaskhan's going to take a ton of damage from that, which is real nice. I'm going to set up my substitute. So now Giratina just became a problem. Cresselia's going to actually wake up, though, and go for Ice Beam. That's rather annoying. 
because that's going to be able to break my substitute. Actually, it's not. All right, Cress, I'll see you, big doggy. I think I could bring Grout on here, or I could bring in Breloom. But I'm bringing the Grout on. So Groudon is going to prime will revert. Now, I can see Kyogre coming in here. So that's why I don't want to go for Fire Punch. I'm going to Dragon Pulse, <coughs> Cresselia, and I'm going to Rock Side with Groudon. Actually, I could Protect with Groudon. I could Protect with Groudon. I'm going to Dragon Pulse the Kangaskhan and Protect the Groudon. Okay, so he doesn't switch out. So he might not have Kyogre then. Kangaskhan tries to double edge grout on. Perfect. We get Kangaskhan out of here. <clears throat> so one less thing. <clears throat> Excuse me. I have to worry about here. Chris Haley's gonna go for another ice beam into Giratina. Should be fine. Our, our sub should break now. There it is. So we know we can take two ice beams from Cresselia. <clears throat> <clears throat> Taunt's gonna wear off on Cresselia too. I think he brings in Landers here. Yep, in comes the Landers. <clears throat> Excuse me. And it's gonna drop drop Groudon's attack. Now, here's the thing. I don't think he brought I'm gonna Dragon Pulse, the Landris. I'm going to switch out Groudon for Breloom, because I don't think he brought the Kyogre. I think he's going to Earth... <clears throat> excuse me. Going to Earthquake here. <clears throat> God. I got such a, like a gunky throat. He's going to Helping Hand Earthquake. There it is. So let's see how much this is able to do Giratina. It might knock out Breloom, and it does. It does so much damage to Giratina, too. We're going to go for Dragon Pulse here. I'm just going to do a nice amount to the Landorus. And actually, I'll just bring Groudon. I'm going to protect Groudon and Dragon Pulse the uh, Landorus again. He brought Crest, he brought Kanga and Lando. Why would he bring Groudon? Maybe he was really afraid of that Breloom, I guess, but I'm just going to Dragon Pulse and Protect. Yep, Cresselia's going to go for another Helping Hand. I'm not going to let my Groudon take any damage, though. He also does know what kind of Groudon I have yet, because uh, he ha I, haven't, I haven't attacked with Groudon yet. So there's the Protect. Giratina should take this. Ooh, just barely. And we get the Dragon Pulse off, which should take care of the Landris. Which it does. So Giratina's gotten two kills so far. And let's see what his last Pokemon ends up being. It is that Groudon. Groudon. And he probably has a special Groudon. <laughs> this Cresselia is probably going to go for Helping Hand, too. I'm going to Earth Power the Groudon and Precipice Blades. Precipice Blades. Ooh, the opposing Groudon actually protects. So does that mean his Cresselia is going for Trick Room? Cresselia's going to levitate. Groudon protects itself. Earth power, Groudon protects. There's the trick room. So... <clears throat> excuse me. 
So if that's the case, he might be a special Groudon. So I'm gonna I'm gonna Earth Power the Groudon, and I'm gonna protect my Groudon again. Priscilla goes for Helping Hand. Is this an Earth Power Groudon or is it Prespa's Blades? If it's Prespa's Blades, we're kind of done for. But if it's Earth Power and if he targeted my Groudon, it is Prespa's Blades. Can it miss my? Nope. <sighs> I was really hoping for the Earth Power. That's rather unfortunate. Not taking care of that crest earlier is kind of a problem, too. He's gonna helping hand. He's probably gonna underspeed. He does. And it connects. That's rather unfortunate. And it is gonna one hit KO with that helping hand boost. Rather unfortunate that he was both physical and uh, under speeding. But I, like, I'm a neutral speed Groudon, so what can you do? What can you do? <clears throat> so let's communicate here. Let's go with Battle Box. I mean, I'm glad I brought Lipard, so at least we don't regret that, not bringing Crobat. So, 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 we're going to search for an opposing trainer. <coughs> Let's see if we can pick up a win for our final match. This team hasn't been doing amazing, but I made it just to try out Giratina Altered Form, and it is running like Breloom, which isn't amazing in this metagame. It's good against Kyogre, but speaking of, there's a Kyogre. Um, so, Kyogre, ho oh, oh. Ferrothorn, Salamence, which is his Mega, Gengar, and Thunderous. So I want Groudon for sure. Groudon can be in the back. Breloom isn't terrible either here. <coughs> Excuse me. Give me, give me, give me. Um. I actually think I'm going to lead Lipard and Giratina, and then Breloom and Groudon. Same team, but this time we're leading Lipard and Giratina to have a little more offensive presence against this team. Because Breloom can really only take on the Ferrothorn and the Kyogre. And other than that, he's he's not looking hot. Um, so in comes Ho-Oh and Salamence. Oh oh, and Salamence. And there's pressure. Now the Ho oh can't do much to us, so what I'm gonna do is fake out the Salamence and substitute. Salamence might protect here, and Ho oh I guess could go after Lipard. But I should be able to get a Dragon Pulse on Salamence next turn. Whether he takes the light part out or not. The only problem with this is that if he does take out a light part, I'd have to bring Groudon in. And it's really early to be bringing Groudon in. So. See you, see you. But hopefully Ho isn't able to take us out. And then I can go for Encore on a Salamence if he protects. He doesn't protect, though. Or Mega Evolve, for that matter. So he's going to get faked out. Hole goes for Sacred Fire. I'm assuming on... Yep, on a Lipard. Which isn't able to take us out and doesn't get the burn either. So I get my Substitute up. I do, in fact, get my Substitute up. Now here, I'm just going to... Foul play the ho ho. -Oh. I'm gonna try and Dragon Pulse this, this Salamence. This Sa Salamence could switch out very easily right here. Um, that means, I mean, Ferrothorns really is only switch in, but if that's the case, I can bring in Breloom and punch it. But then ho ho. -Oh. I'd probably bring Groudon and Precipice Blades and then Earth Power double into the Ferrothorn with Ground type moves, which are neutral. Yeah, he really doesn't want... 
He's trying to decide. He might have not brought Ferrothorn. Did he just go straight for a Draco first turn? Because that would not have knocked out Giratina, especially normal Mens. He's going to Mega now. Okay. Okay, I see you. He doesn't protect here either. So we can get a foul play off onto this ho oh, which does about 50. Nice damage on that. Hyper Voice is going to uh, come through, and it's not. It's going to go through the sub, so it doesn't break it. And ho -Oh is actually going to sub as well. But ho -Oh is also at a very low health. I'm going to Dragon Pulse here with my Agaratina. Which is going to drop the Salamence. See a boy. There we go. Oh, with a critical hit. I don't know if that crit mattered. Giratina has been putting the most offensive pressure in here. We're going to get some leftovers. I think ho -Oh will also have leftovers. It doesn't actually. What does the ho -Oh have? I'm going to bring in my Groudon here. Because we can just rock slide and drain pulse that ho -Oh slot. And he's uh, thinking here. Who does he want to bring in now? If he brings in Kyogre, we have a chance to underspeed it. So that he's not able to get up a rain. What is that? He brings in Gengar. Gengar. And I'm going to bring him a Gridden. Which is going to Primal Revert. So he brought Gengar. What was his, What would his last Pokemon be? So he has choice of Kyogre, Ferrothorn, or Thunderous. I would think it'd be Kyogre, but... Maybe he's saving it for when this Groudon came out. I don't know. I'm just going to Rock Slide, though, and uh, Dragon Pulse. Because if he switches anything out, it's going to be that Gengar. He does with... He withdraws the Ho-Oh behind its sub. Okay. And he brings in the Kyogre. That's fine with me, boy. I didn't go for a Fire-type move. I ain't stupid. I ain't stupid. He thought he would have caught me there, though, because he had a Flying type and a Levitator. And typically, Groudons are going to be special with Eruption. Is this in Power Water? What in the heck is that? I'm going to Dragon Pulse here with Giratina, but what is that Gengar doing? What? Hashtag what? Rock Slide. will do nice damage to the Gengar. What? What just happened? What hidden power is that Gengar running? <coughs> what? I'm going to protect my gar my Gridden. And I'm going to get rid of this Gengar right now. What is going on? I'm going to protect Groudon. He's going to go for the Icy Wind. Because he would have picked up a KO on Groudon. I guess trying to slow Giratina. I don't know if this will knock out the sub. It doesn't. Origin Pulse. This should knock out the sub. Well, that's honestly fine. There's the sub fade. Giratina eating these hits, though. Dragon Pulse should knock out Gengar. Pop. See ya. And now I don't really have to worry about keeping Groudon around. Just because Giratina should be able to take care of the Ho-Oh. I mean, Grad I mean, Kyogre could... They could double target into the Giratina. But if he does that... And if Groudon outspeeds this Kyogre, we are in good position. But I don't think he will. Ho-Oh does outspeed for sure. Who is he going after? The Groudon, maybe? No, the Giratina. Ooh. Oh, Ho-Oh drops from that, too. So, Breloom against a Kyogre should be nice. He's going to Water Spout. Not able to take that, unfortunately. Even with the, uh... The, uh... Lower HP on that Kyogre. But we are Focus Sash Breloom. And Bullet Seed, I believe, is 100% chance to hit. I don't think I've ever seen it miss. I'm like, I'm thinking it misses because of Sinchino, but Sinchino, I believe, is Rock Blast that misses. So I'm just going to Bullet Seed this thing. I, oh, I probably should have spored. 
Oh, never mind. We have focus sash. It doesn't matter. We sh we should win no matter what. Even if we don't get uh enough. I mean, two was able to knock it out. So I don't think you can get just one bullet seed. <coughs> so that is a win. Breloom picking it up at the end. Nice job, Breloom. My girl, Alice. But that's gonna be. It. We got two wins, four losses with this team, which isn't amazing. But I mean, it was fun. I loved using Giratina. So thank you guys so much for joining me today. Um, next week, I think I'm going to be using my tournament team, just because I want to show you guys how it works. I was going to save it until after I did the tournament and then show you guys, but... Well, actually, I might be doing one this weekend, because there is a tournament on Valentine's Day, and since I ain't got no Valentine's, I might as well go play Pokemon, right? But thank you guys so much for joining me today, and we will see you next time. Remember to hit that like button if uh, you enjoyed this video, and leave a comment if you have any suggestions for teams I should make or teams you'd like to see, I'll leave them in the comment section below. And again, we'll see you next time. Stay sharp. Hello, everyone, and thanks for checking out the video. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to click on the links on the screen. If you haven't yet, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to see more videos as they come to your way. And if you want to go check out the GoFundMe, that'd be great, too. Bye!